Some people actually think that dinosaurs farted themselves to death. No joke, you can look it up. Hello everyone, welcome back to The Simple Skeptic. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Hit that little bell, you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. Hit the like or unlike button, depends on you. And please uh, share this with friends you like and maybe relatives you don't like. Whatever, your choice. Uh, yeah, we're back with Matt Powell. Um, he's, uh, he's, like I say every time, he's the gift that keeps on giving. This time, he's on a rant about dinosaur farts. Let's take a look at that again. Some people actually think that dinosaurs farted themselves to death. No joke, you can look it up. Matt was probably giggling like a little school kid when he finished recording that because he got to say the word fart in front of a bunch of adults. Yeah, Matt, we will be looking it up. I think it's our job to keep you honest. But first, let's take a look at what some of my fellow skeptics think. The dinosaurs didn't bark themselves into extinction. I don't know why you come up with this bullshit. Dinosaurs did not fart themselves into extinction. No, Matt Powell. Dinosaurs did not fart themselves to death. This is yet another of your straw man arguments against the fact that evolution happens. He also said that dinosaurs farted themselves into extinction. He made that up. That's that's not even close to being true. He lied. To believe that dinosaur farts caused them to go extinct is really stupid in every possible way. But the one big difference is that Matt is trying to frame it in such a way that he's attempted to convince people someone did actually say that it happened, which they didn't. But as a young Earth creationist, he's frantically trying to convince people that man and dinosaurs co-inhabited Earth. So he just has to make stuff up. By the way, those clips were from Matt own video. I didn't search the net for them. Um, now this may shock you, but I have to disagree with my fellow skeptics on this because although Matt is totally wrong when it comes to the current scientific understanding of dinosaur flatulence, he is right when he says that some people believe it. Uh, yeah, forget that big chunk of rock that crashed into Earth 66 million years ago. Um, some people do believe that dinosaurs farted themselves into extinction. Yeah. They farted their way to extinction. Dinosaurs may have gassed themselves into extinction. British researchers say the prehistoric beast had a flatulence and belching problem. <laughs> By the way, those two clips were also from Matt's own video. I didn't search those. Um, strange that uh, those people didn't seem to have any letters after the name, like PhD or anything like that. Uh, they didn't have any job title like paleontologist or whatever. Um, I, I, I think they were journalists. Yeah, yeah, they seem to be journalists. Strange. Anything that I'm saying can be verified. There were so many dinosaurs that it increased the amount of carbon in the atmosphere and that caused, you know, warming. I think that would be a simpler explanation of, how, of what happened. That was a nice cell phone, Matt. Uh, you claim that everything you say can be verified and then you gave us a non-verification. That wasn't verification at all. And I didn't clip that. That's your own video, Matt. Yeah, uh, that was his own video from his own uh, production. Uh, he cut it off exactly where you see it. I didn't cut it off. Um, she did not say the dinosaurs farted themselves to death. All she said was that the flatulence may have caused a, a rise in, in temperatures. Um, I really don't see how that's called verification, Matt. Obviously, Matt is unwilling to present evidence for his assertion because he doesn't want us knowing that such a good Christian lad would break the ninth commandment. You know, that, that silly little thing about bearing false witness or something. Or lying, maybe. Um, but uh, as I said, he wasn't lying about some people believing it. Uh, but he was engaging in the sin of omission. Failing to point out that no relevant people uh, believe it. No relevant meaning no credentialed scientists uh, with degrees in things that Matt would never understand like biology, biochemistry, paleontology, climatology, uh, and perhaps other disciplines. 
you can uh, you can work on that yourselves. Now, instead of going to the horse's mouth, he went to the horse's ass. Top news reporters who serve corporate masters who are more concerned with the ratings that come with entertainment uh, rather than hard science. And strangely, those outlets could still have had some big laughs about farts without pushing it towards some sort of apocalyptic levels of methane. Um, I mean, who doesn't love a good fart joke? Oh man, did you cut the cheese? We don't produce milk, you idiot. Go ask a mammal. Okay, maybe that wasn't so good, but I don't get paid for this. They literally teach that dinosaurs farted themselves to death. And then one guy says, well, you have misrepresented, Matt, you have misrepresented us. We believe that they, they tooted and it warmed the environment. <laughs> that sounds even more stupid. No, Matt, that sounds quite reasonable. And it's actually in line with what was actually said by real scientists doing real research, not misinterpreted by journalists or worse, by you. Let's take a look at what they actually said. Okay, first let's use the Google and uh, we'll have a look at uh, what that comes up with. First of all, uh, just a quick Googling gets you over half a million results. Um, do, 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 do. Scientists estimate dinosaurs passed enough gas to warm up the planet. Their flatulence and burps were more than four times that of modern cows, as scientists estimate. Uh, moving on, uh, NPR. Scientists estimate dinosaurs passed enough gas to warm up the planet. Hmm. Uh, scientists estimate dinosaurs passed enough gas to warm up the planet. Still haven't got to this uh, farted themselves to death bit. Um, but uh, let's, uh, let's get into this uh, NPR story a bit more. The early reporting of the story had an undeni undeniably alluring narrative. Scientists say dinosaurs passed so much gas they affected climate enough to cause their demise. That's how Fox News, oh my God, and the Daily Mail, which is also known as the Daily Fail, one of the first to move the story, framed this latest research. As it seems is always the case, though, a closer reading of the study released in the current in the journal, Current Biology, reveals that the reporting is just hot air. Nay, hey, nice little pun there. Um, the AP has the right idea when it reports, a new study suggests that dinosaurs may have helped keep an already overheated world warmer with their flatulence and burps 200 million years ago. Kudos to Associated Press. Paul Myers of Biology... Paul Myers, a biology professor at the University of Minnesota Morris, set the record straight on his blog Pharyngula. No, dinosaurs did not fart themselves to death, he says, adding that he read the paper in full. The researchers don't say that at all. There is nothing about extinction in the paper. It would have been ridiculous, and I was prepared to dismiss such a claim without even reading the paper. The Jurassic lasted 55 million years, the Cretaceous 80 million with dinosaurs farting away throughout. But the paper makes no such claim, instead suggesting that the mass of herbivores during the Mesozoic would have made a substantial but stable contribution of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere that may have been partially responsible for the warmer, moister climate of the era and the greater primary production. So NPR doesn't agree with you. Uh, let's take a look at Smithsonian Magazine. Media blows hot air about dinosaur flatulence. A new study claims dinosaur farts contributed to prehistoric climate change, but don't believe reports that they gassed themselves to death or poopy pants liars like Matt Powell. Uh, I, I, I made a, might have made some of that up. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, it sounds like perfect journalist bait. Earlier this week, a new current biology paper proposed that the accumulated output of dinosaur farts could have changed the global climate. You could hardly ask for a better story. Dinosaurs are ever popular media darlings and the science of sauropod farts is just silly enough to grab the public's attention. Too bad sources like Fox News, Gawker and the Daily Mail issued some rather noxious stories about the research. Yeah, um, well, here's even more. I, I don't see anything there. Um, you know, lots of research done on dinosaur farts and so forth, and uh, their their guts. But 
I don't see anything there about them uh, gassing themselves to death, Matt. I don't know where you found this. Um, hmm. Oh, Hadrosaur gas. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, paper is a crude analysis because in science, every, well, pretty well everything in science is a crude analysis. Um, we're always waiting for new better information to come along or newer information to come along and uh, you can never be certain absolutely of anything but uh, I'm not finding anything in here Matt nothing um, yeah Gawker simply recycled Fox's bad air well yeah birds of a feather flock together um, now uh, d -d -d -d. Yeah, Daily Mail independently misconstruing the paper's results. Uh, de -de 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 -de. Daily Beast, Daniel Stone and PZ Myers of Feringula tore into the media coverage earlier this week. There's sadly no shortage of face palming include inducing reporting, but it's even worse when news sources are so enamored with a punchline that they simply make up conclusions. Not that I expect Fox News, the Daily Mail or Gawker to stop blowing hot air whenever the opportunity arises. Nor do I. Nor do I. Uh, yeah, so there we are. Um, a quick little Google can bring up all sorts of uh, reports on alleged, well, known dinosaur flatulence, but nothing about your alleged uh, farting themselves to death, Matt. So once again, Matt is lying. Um, there's no reason to think that he doesn't know that he's lying. He's probably doing what's called a pious fraud which is where you, uh, you use a lie, uh, a misconception, uh, disinformation, whatever, to bring people to the Lord for the greater good. No matter what the facts may be, you go with the Bible, you go with what works on people, and you bring them in. And uh, it also keeps the flock faithful and keeps them turning up and keeps the collection plate full. Nice work if you can get it. Although, I can't say that I would be proud to do that. Anywho, let's, uh, let's take a look at uh, another stupid comment from a creationist, as we do every time I put up a video. And uh, you could just have a laugh at their expense. And have a nice day, folks.